Fast food chain Wendy's is no longer using lettuce in its sandwiches in multiple states as the CDC looks into an E. coli outbreak in Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. The outbreak has made more than three dozen people sick in those states. I want to bring in physician at Stanford Children's Health, Dr. Log Patel, for more on this. Dr. Patel, let's start with the basics. What exactly is E. coli? And E. coli is a bacteria. I know in medical headlines, we talk a lot about viruses. Now we're switching to bacteria and it gets a bad rap. It actually represents a very large group of bacteria. And there are some subsets that can cause disease in humans. It can be found in our food, in the environment, soil, and in the intestines of a lot of animals. We have E. coli in all of us right now that actually is harmless and plays a good role in our gut microbiome. But as I mentioned, there are some strains that can wreak havoc. Okay, good E. coli and bad E. coli. So what are the symptoms that we should be on the lookout for when it comes to bad E. coli? Well, we can guess because it affects our gut that bad E. coli, in this case, what we're seeing can cause vomiting, severe abdominal cramping, and I'm gonna be graphic, bloody diarrhea. It can also cause fevers and other complications, and especially in those who are more vulnerable, young children, the elderly, people with underlying medical conditions. It can even cause meningitis, pneumonia, urinary tract infections, and in some cases, especially those who become hospitalized, it can cause a condition called hemolytic uremic syndrome, which can actually cause bursting of blood vessels, literally, and kidney failure. And the strain that we often hear about that causes these problems is called 0157, although right now, the strain that's causing this is currently unknown. So how do you know what to do if you notice these symptoms, and when is this the kind of thing you can ride out at home versus when you need to seek medical attention? Well, then, simply put, and we say this all the time, when in doubt, you wanna chat with the healthcare professional, but usually what happens, if you do come in contact and eat, something that is contaminated with a bad E. coli about three to four days later, you can have vomiting and some of these GI symptoms. Now, in a lot of cases, people will recover without needing any treatment, but it is always a good idea to check in. If you see these symptoms, number one, to make sure that you are you know what you have and that things are going to be okay, but also it's important for surveillance and for the public health officials to actually know what's going on. You might have your stool tested and you can actually contribute to getting good pieces of data to help the CDC pinpoint what is happening right now. And Dr. Patel, how are we going to make excuses for eating Wendy's now? I used to point to the lettuce to say that made the burger healthy. Now what do we do? Uh, people always do that. They say, hey, there's greens on this, but there are healthier ways <laughs> to get I'm getting my vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> any way we can. I would say watch out for the, the unpasteurized dairy, uncooked meat, and no more eating raw cookie dough, people. Oh, fine. You're ruining all our fun. Dr. Patel, thanks anyway. That's what I do. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.